When I'm doing sound install videos, I often adjust the bass and treble on locked sound decoders, but I've never really explained how to do this. In this video I'm going to show you the two ways that you can do it using a lock programmer, and also how to do it with CVs if you just want to use your DCC controller. Firstly, I should probably explain why you might want to do it in the first place. There's loads of different shapes and sizes of speakers, and all of them play the sounds in a slightly different way. You can tweak the bass and treble settings from the amplifier on the decoder to suit the particular speaker that you're using. For example, on a big speaker, you might want to turn the bass down slightly, or turn the treble up. In the past, some manufacturers have used two speakers to try and achieve this effect, such as putting a sugar cube with an EM1 speaker. This is good, but because there isn't a crossover on the decoders, it doesn't necessarily give the best balance of sound. The small speaker still tries to play the bass, and the big speaker still tries to play the treble. Tweaking the bass and treble to get that perfect sound balance might actually give you better results than trying to use a mixture of two speakers. The first way to adjust the bass and treble with the lock programmer is under the decoder and sound settings. Changes made here become the new default for this sound file, so even if you were to reset the decoder using CV8, it'd still go back to these settings. These new settings need to be written to the decoder before you'll be able to hear the difference. The next way is to use the cab page on the lock programmer. This is where you would test the decoder from. You slide the bass and treble bars to where you want them, and it keeps these settings until you next put it onto the lock programmer, and then it resets them so that you can adjust them again. The benefit of this method over the first one is that you can listen to it as you're making the adjustments. You can hear it in real time to see if you like the adjustments that you've made. You don't need to write these new settings to your decoder. As soon as you lift it off the track, the new settings are already saved. The final way, and probably the most common, will be to use your DCC controller. Adjust CV196 for bass and 197 for treble. The range is 0 to 32, 0 being the minimum and 32 being the maximum. Just like the second lock programmer method, you can do this live and listen to the changes that you make as you make them. You can only adjust the bass and treble on lock sound 5 decoders, and the firmware on them needs to be quite up to date. The firmware version that allows it came out in around 2023. If you have an earlier lock sound 5, it can still be updated so that these features work. The update can only be done using a lock programmer. Hopefully you've found this video useful. If you have, please leave a like below to let me know that you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and hopefully I'll make more similar videos in the future.